Welcome to the news today. Stephen Donald gets nod at no 12 for Chiefs in Super Rugby quarterfinal against Stormers. Stephen Donald will replace the injured Charlene Batai and start at second 5 8 for the Chiefs in their Super Rugby quarterfinal against the Stormers in Cape Town on Saturday, Sunday morning NZ time. An ankle injury suffered in last weekend's final round match against the Brumbies ruled Ngatai out of travelling to South Africa, and with Alex Nankivel, who last week started at centre, also unavailable, due to illness, and Johnny Faoli not plumped for in the touring squad of 25, it was going to be either Donald or Tim Nanai Williams to partner with returning All Black Anton Lee Nert Brown. Nanai Williams has been named on the bench having completed his commitments with Samoa in the Pacific Nations Cup, which saw him miss the Brumbies game and then arrive in Cape Town a day after his Chiefs teammates. Shoulder and ankle injuries have plagued his season, and with the Chiefs seeing him as a centre, wing they toyed with the idea of playing him outside the versatile Yenert Brown, but in the end went with a form horse in Donald. In Donald. The 33-year-old has played 10 matches this season, the quarter-final will be his fifth start, and fourth at second five. He was there in the 34-26 loss to the Stormers in Cape Town in Round 7, and also in the 60-21 quarter-final win there last year, when he was forced to leave the field during the first half with a lot injury, which then kept him out of all but the final round of the Mitre 10 Cup with Waikato. Apart from the midfield changes, the rest of the Chiefs' backline remains. While there are three changes in the forward pack, with co-captain Sam Kane and Brody Riglick back after resting post All Blacks duties, and Liam Messam reinstated after resting a hamstring twinge. Dominic Bird is also back, after the coaches had played it safe with his head knock last weekend. But, surprisingly, he has only been selected on the bench, with usual Lucy Mitchell Brown to again start at lock. Up until last weekend Bird had played every game of the season, and only once came off the bench, but assistant coach Kieran Keane said it was a selection purely on form, and that Brown was playing too well not to start, not to start. The team's been picked on form, Keane said. We just sat down and had a discussion around who was in actual form, and Brownie's selection was pretty compulsory around everybody, and we couldn't see a way not to pick him because of what he'd achieved and what he was doing at the time. Form was a big thing moving into a quarterfinal, with the sudden death aspect to it. That was also why Prop Aiden Ross had found a spot in the reserves, for a second week in a row squeezing out Siegfried Fisse, who had up until then featured in all but one game this season. The two players who travelled with the team but missed selection were loose forward Tom Sanders and utility back Chase Yasha. Keane said despite the arduous travel, at late notice, there was some good energy in the camp, as they looked to build some intensity up in the last couple of days before the match. It was surprising really, after the first night there was quite a bit of spark within the team, he said. We've kept the tempo down, it hasn't been hard out training, it's been more around clarity and getting roles right, and getting the relationships between players right so everyone's quite clear in their head about what's expected and what's desired and what the plan is. Chiefs, Damian McKenzie, Solomon Alamalo, Anton Lee Nert Brown, Stephen Donald, James Lowe, Aaron Gruden, co-captain, Dora Barlow, Michael Leach, Sam Kane, co-captain, Liam Messam, Mitchell Brown, Brody Ritlick, Nepo Lalila, Nathan Harris, Kane Hames. Reserves. Liam Polwart, Aidan Ross, Etimali, Dominic Bird, Lachlan Boshier, Finley Christie, Tim Nanai Williams, Sean Stevenson, Stevenson.